Doom Eternal fucking sucks. It is one of the biggest missed opportunities for the uplifting of racial minority groups and social commentary on the inherent hegemonic status quo of post-Columbian genocidal racism in America. I've played a lot of video games, so you'll know that this is the most objective review you'll ever get. 2020 was a rough year, and as a transgender non-binary demigirl, I need something other than firing up a storm on Twitter, blogging about how patriarchal modern-day America prevents me from advancing in my chosen career path, and posting on my OnlyFans. This is where video games comes into my life. Video games aren't just fun and games for me, they're a distraction and a muse to feel my incessant desires to feel like I can accomplish something in this world by playing the victim and everything. Unfortunately, Doom misses the mark for me by a fucking mile, though it did have a progressive potential about minority groups that face new Jim Crow laws here in America today. The only part about me that gets represented in this game is that the Slayer keeps his gender a secret for the entirety of the story. We never know if he's male or female, which I commend id Software for doing simply because he serves as an excellent role model for transgender individuals such as myself everywhere. What he does and how he does it is unimportant and insignificant to my tastes. What matters is that I don't know he's male, female, non-binary, queer, gender... Unfortunately, that is all that appeals to me about this game. Everything else fails in nearly each fundamental aspect that Bethesda has laid the groundworks on since the beginnings of Doom back in 2016 with the first Doom game. The game is a testament to the extreme historical racism present in modern United States culture, as it is a simulation of you being Christopher Columbus mowing down hordes of Native Americans to try and take their land from them. We all know that we stole the lands from the natives, and that it is their right to have it back. But it'd be an inconvenience for me to have to relocate anywhere that isn't my rundown apartment, so all I can do is open up an open-minded discussion about how Christopher Columbus was a racist, evil, genocidal maniac that wanted nothing more than to just go places and kill natives. This is what the Doom Slayer is made to represent. What I despise about Christopher Columbus and the Doom Slayer, this game is intended to make you hate them as much as you hate the people from 600 years ago that you actually know nothing about, and this game really fires my engine to want to go out and expose the truth to people about how we Americans are walking on land that was stolen by murdering indigenous people akin to the Doom Slayer. However, the biggest downside to this game and why I must give it a negative score is because of how id missed the opportunity to make demons more appropriate representative of ethnic minority cultures or indigenous people. It comes across as quite shocking and appalling to me that Bethesda would choose to represent minority groups as demons, as though they're trying to perpetrate the negative stereotype that these people are less than human, seen by white nationalists that plague the United States today in numbers as much as 70 million. Have you seen how many people voted for Trump? Anyway, it's completely disgusting and unjustifiable by id Software to represent these people in such a way, and we all know they deserve better treatment. While I'm at it, where's the diversity in the demons themselves? Why are they all just one shade of color? Why do they all look the same among a given type? Why are all the humanoid ones white? Where are the disabled demons? Where are the disabled black demons? You know what? I think Bethesda employees are just being bigots by trying to say all people of the same race look alike with these demons. And to me, that sin is unforgivable. So for all of its positives of having a transgender protagonist that tries to simulate the true horrors of Christopher Columbus arriving into the new world to do nothing but kill people, it falls short in its delivery of portraying the true diversity among diversity, the strength of human beings. No demons of color, no transgender demons, no female demons, not even a disabled demon. Come on, Ubisoft. Zero out of ten. Also, the Marauder is too hard.